This is why America's enemies are afraid of the Boeing P-8 Poseidon. The U.S. Navy wants to arm its Boeing P-8 Poseidon patrol aircraft with new anti-ship missiles plus precision-guided bombs, mines and air decoys. The U.S. Navy wants to arm its Boeing P-8 Poseidon patrol aircraft with new anti-ship missiles plus precision-guided bombs, mines and air decoys. If the fleet follows the plan, the Navy will acquire the first new bombers in generations. The last A-6 bombers left the fleet in the late 1990s. The jet engine P-8, which is rapidly replacing the older, propeller-driven P-3 in Navy squadrons, already carries anti-submarine torpedoes, harpoon anti-ship missiles, and standoff land attack missiles expanded response. Or SLAM ER. But now the Navy wants to add long-range anti-ship missiles, combined direct attack ammunition, small diameter bombs, Mark 62-63-65 mines and miniature air launch bait. Fleet announced a February 2020 demand addition to the industry. The new weapon will greatly expand the types of targets the P-8 can attack. The Poseidon is a modified 737NG aircraft with a new wing, military and communications sensors as well as an internal weapons bay and wing pylons for ammunition. With its current payload, the P-8 can strike ships and ground targets more than 150 miles away plus submarines at shorter ranges. Adding Lorazm will expand Poseidon's attack range to over 200 miles for marine targets. The JDAM and SDB, although more limited in range than the SLAM ER, will give P-8 crews the option of attacking coastal installations and supporting ground forces in heavily fortified airspace. The addition of air-launched decoys can increase the P-8's survivability against enemy air defenses. But adding this new ammunition doesn't necessarily change the P-8's role. The Navy uses a planned fleet of at least 177 Poseidon for maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, anti-ship attacks and ground surveillance using covert and stealthy radar. The APS-154 Littoral Surveillance Radar System transforms the P-8 into a surface surveillance platform similar to the U.S. Air Force's E-8 radar aircraft. The U.S. Navy's P-8S are part of the NATO response after Russia in October 2019 sorted eight submarines into the frigid waters of the Barents and Norwegian seas. Between October 25 and November 7, 2019, NATO aircraft flew more than 40 missions. Six Norwegian Air Force P-3S, four U.S. Navy P-8S and Canadian Air Force CP-140S flew from Andoya in Norway. At least one additional P-8 flew from Keflavik in Iceland. The French Navy's second Atlantic patrol emerges from Prestwick Airport in Scotland. Flight trackers follow patrol planes as they fly hundreds of miles into the North Atlantic to fly a racetrack pattern over a location visible from a Russian submarine. Patrol aircraft use radar, sonar buoys and magnetic detectors to locate submarines in and under waves. The US fleet has yet to develop tactics to use the P-8 as a true bomber. The P-8's relatively light weight is also unsuitable for harsh flying in hazardous environments. By adding new ammunition, the Navy can make the P-8 better than it already is. And on the one hand, the fleet only replaces existing capabilities. The patrol version of the P-3, which has served since the 1960s, is scheduled to leave the fleet in 2023. The Navy has over the decades added a wide variety of weapons to the P-3 including torpedoes, anti-ship and ground missile attack, unguided rocket, cluster bombs and even Maverick anti-tank missiles. Other countries have planned or completed similar modifications to their maritime patrol aircraft. The Royal Air Force in the early 2000s considered adding laser-guided bombs and ground-attack cruise missiles to its planned fleet of Nimrod MRA-4 patrol aircraft. But London cancelled the Nimrod in 2010, leaving the RAF without maritime patrol aircraft until the first group of nine new P-8S arrived in the UK in 2019. It is unclear whether the RAF plans to equip the Poseidon with the same weapon. The US Navy wants to add its own aircraft. The French Navy meanwhile has modified several of its sister Atlantic II maritime patrol aircraft to carry laser-guided bombs, 